So I'm going to be reviewing um, the new Wet n Wild foundation and powder. I just bought this over the weekend, so fairly new to it, but I gotta say I love it. Um, I know you guys might be like, well, you might dislike it later on in the week or like as I use it more, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this because I have oily, normal, I have oily combination skin, so I have, um, my T-zone gets oily throughout the day, and to, what I found with this is that, of course, I'm going to have oily skin, you know, where my nose is and stuff, but, um, it doesn't show up, like, it's not a lot, like, it's very minimal, and I love it because this is the, because, like, even the Revlon, um, the Revlon Color Stay gives me a little bit of oily skin after, like, two hours of use, and I found that I lasted about five hours with this foundation before my T-zone started to get oily, and as you can see, like, it's really bright, but then it's because of my, um, highlighter, not really my oils, because I just blotted my skin before doing the video, and, um, you can see that these two, like, right next to each other, the powder looks a bit lighter, but, and the foundation looks, like, a bit, a bit darker, but I want to say these run kind of, well, the powder runs really light to its color, um, medium doesn't look like medium at all, medium looks like light, but once it's on your face, it, I don't know how it does that, but I just think it matches your face better, I don't know how to explain this, but it's just, it looks really light in the um, packaging, but once you put it on your skin and your face, it matches your skin tone if you are medium in the winter, which I'm not. I picked up the wrong color for me, I would say. I do have it on today, but, and it looks like it's matching the rest of my skin, but I feel like I do have the wrong color on. Um, pretty sure I should have just gone for a light medium instead of a medium. And it only comes in, I think, four shades too. So it comes in a fair, a light, light medium, and a medium. And the same goes for the powder. So if you have darker skin tone, you might not be able to find a color in your shade. Which is really sad because I feel like this foundation is really cheap and affordable and worth trying at least. Because for someone who has oily and combination skin, I found that this was, um, it lasted longer than most foundation that I used and it didn't really give me um the massive like oil spots on my face like the other foundations that I would use and this is fairly cheap I think it was only $3.99 at um CVS and it had like a little sticker that said a dollar off so technically I only got it for like $2.99 and the powder is just $2.99 so um for anyone that wants to try something new like this you know even if this is a hit and miss for people I would say this is worth trying because it's definitely affordable like you have you you may have or you sh you might have the um financial freedom to kind of like you know try this out and say that it's either a hit for you or a miss for you so it's not something that you have to like highly invest in and um i don't know i just really love this i just feel like um like the powder is so smooth. I mean, like, it's, like, really smooth to a point where I found it kind of chalky at times. But overall, I really liked it. The one thing I don't like about the powder is that um, when you put your brush in it, then it gets kind of, like, everywhere as if it's, I don't know, it just doesn't stick to the brush. It just kind of, like, goes all over the place. So I, I have to kind of, like, blow on it after, you know, putting my, dipping my brush in. And it comes with a little sponge, but no mirror. How sad. It doesn't come with a mirror. Um, I don't use the sponge. I, I don't know. I, I found that I don't really like to, um, pack, like, pressed powders onto my face. I'd rather just kind of, like, brush it over with a, um, brush because it gives me a lighter coverage. And I don't really, um, uh, find that I need to, like, you know, give myself, like, a very heavy coverage to begin with. So... That is my intake on the um, powder. And it does run light. Remember that. It does run a little bit. Um, it looks lighter than it does on, like, does. It looks lighter in the packaging than it would on your face. So just remember that if you're getting um, a medium in the tube, in the liquid foundation, then you should also get a medium in the powder. Unless you kind of, like, like your powders lighter or whatnot. Or, like, depending on what shade you're kind of shopping for. I mean, 
summer is coming up and I'm pretty sure this would kind of fit my spring skin tone. It might be too light for my summer skin tone because I tend to get really, really, really tan in the summer. So this is something that's more of a spring color for me. Um, yeah, because like, it's a little bit darker for me right now in my winter skin tone. So yes, and I do, I do, I don't tan, I just play a lot of volleyball outside so I get really dark it's not I don't go to any tanning beds or anything I know it's really bad for you to try to put sunscreen on my body and my face every single oh I just spit out sorry I try to put sunscreen on my face but I don't know it's just it's um kind of something that I've learned how to deal with and stuff because you know you always need SPF but yes so sorry that was like a random rant but I love this um foundation and it's it's a little bit it's in a tube it opens like this it's a little bit runny um so, oh okay wow so i would say it's medium coverage i wouldn't say it's too full but it's closer to medium but it's not light either so i would say it's like medium and a half i don't know if that's even like a word but yes so here it is let me just blend all over my skin oh my gosh okay so it looks like it's blending on my skin really well, but it's a tad bit darker in person. So here it is. It's blended out. Yeah, it looks really nice coverage. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just found that I really love this. It's really nice coverage. It feels really good. And it's a little bit, it's not as thick as if. You know what the, if you have a Revlon Color Stay Foundation, you know, it's not thicker than that. But it is thicker than, um, I would say the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. So it's kind of like in between, the coverage is in between two. It's, um, more, it's more, has more coverage than the L'Oreal True Match, but less coverage than the Revlon Color Stay. So that's what, that's what you should kind of, I don't know if that will help you when choosing a foundation, but... This definitely is a really good foundation for the price. I mean, I don't really like to try lower end drugstore uh, foundations because I don't know. I feel like my skin doesn't really work well, and I feel like the foundations don't really. How would I say this? The, the foundations don't really work for what I want on my skin. I mean, I'm really picky with the whole matted um, skin look and you know, whatnot, because I do have oily skin and I don't want, you know, to like be blotting or like, you know, be putting on powder every hour. But yeah, I definitely am impressed with this Wet n Wild foundation. So if you want to try out a new foundation, maybe this is something that you can look into. I mean, it's not that big of an investment because like I said, it's only $3 and right now they have a little um, coupon attached to the product that you get a dollar off at and I've only seen it at CVS and Walgreens, so I don't know if like Walmart will have it or not. But I do know that if you go to CVS, you will only be paying like two ninety nine or something. Um, and but then the uh, the powder is good too. I would pers I would um, if you were to get oh gosh I don't know like if you were to get only like one of these, I would say go for the um, powder. Go for the powder because um, go for the powder definitely because. And, um, sorry, I keep saying um a lot, but when I apply this to my face, there was kind of like a oily, dewy streak on my face. And then the powder basically mattified it for me. So, I say if you just had it, like, if you can only get one of these, go for the powder because it really helped mattify whatever um, foundation that you need to be mattified and stuff. And it's really great all over your face. So yes, and that's just my little review on the um, Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation and Press Powder. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope this was helpful for you. Comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time.